Look, look at the difference. Like, it's un... Like, wow. Hey guys, it's been a little bit, and you can tell by the ridiculous magenta shift in my shirt and the title of this video, what we're going to talk about, and it's this Canon Variable ND that's the drop-in that goes behind your lens. I got it with my red Komodo, and quite honestly, I thought this was going to be the most important accessory for my Komodo, but as you can see with this magenta shift on my black shirt, this ND is trash. For 300 bucks, this is the best you can do. Let's be honest, whether you're a Sony, Panasonic, Canon, Fuji, fanboy, no matter what, Canon's known for having good glass. Like, they're known for great optics and great lenses. But this is what they want to put their name on, this ND filter? Absolute garbage. Just complete trash. And this isn't going to be a super long video. I just want to show some of you guys who maybe got this um, drop-in ND filter from Canon some, a solution that I found for it. And IR pollution is why we're seeing this. Infrared light pollution is why we're seeing this red here. I've never seen it really bad like this. Like this is ridiculous. It's pretty much unusable. Let me go ahead, you know, matter of fact, I'm so angry with it. Let's go ahead and show you this little filter and I'll put a link to it. I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. This is just for you guys to learn. This is an IR cut filter. Uh, it's by ICE. I don't know if that's ICE, IR slash UV cut filter. Got it on Amazon for like 45 bucks. Let me show you what this does. Let's just put it on while we're watching. I mean, look, you can see, look at this. Isn't that better? Like we got black back. And we can use this ND filter. It makes it somewhat usable. But I would recommend, if you are a new Komodo user, consider maybe one of the other options out there. I haven't used them, but they can't be any worse. Breakthrough Photography uh, makes one. Uh, Kipper Tie makes one. And, you know, uh, Mikey, M-E-I-K-E, Mikey, Mike, I don't know how you say it. They make cinema lenses, and they just made one. Um, if anybody knows of some different drop-in NDs that work on this one, I believe the Breakthrough Photography one does work on this Canon uh, mount. But this is just trash, like absolute trash. And now, if you already have it, the solution is to go ahead and, and get the uh, this ice filter that's the IR cut. It definitely solves the problem, but it's pretty bad. For, for the price that you pay for this, let's go ahead and do a switch. I'm going to use my Freewell NDs and I will use the the uh, Tilta Mirage VND that's that's built into the Tilta Mirage map box. Let's go ahead and compare that to this and see how much worse the the IR pollution is. So now we're back and this time I'm shooting with the variable ND from Freewell on here, the two to five stop. It maybe isn't quite the same exposure, but it's pretty darn close. None of my traffic lights are on. Same as when I was using the other one, but you'll see here now I have no IR cut filter on. This is just the free well. So the IR pollution, while it's, you know, it's kind of bad with the Komodo. Look at this. I don't have the red shirt anymore. I'll, I'll put a side by side of the, without the, the IR cut filter. Now, I will add the IR cut filter on here so you guys can see, you know, how it helps a little bit. We'll do that real quick and, and see that it can actually even clean this up a little bit more, but this is totally usable where with the uh, the Canon drop-in ND, I mean, it's not even usable with that, that ND filter, and that's $300. This, I got a set of two variable NDs for under $300. A two to five stop and a six to nine stop. And this is far superior in quality than the Canon one which was $400 for just the one ND with the adapter. It's complete trash. Okay, so now for this final clip, I've still got my Freewheel ND on here and I've added the IR cut filter and I'll put sort of a side-by-side -side here while I'm talking. I'll put a side-by-side. -side. One side will be the Freewheel ND alone. One side will be the Canon ND without the IR cut filter. And then maybe I'll switch it to the Canon variable ND with its IR cut filter added on here, this $40 solution. So I guess the moral of the story here is if you have the uh, Canon variable ND filter and you're experiencing the, the problems that I have with that IR pollution where everything shifts magenta and your colors are all out of whack, 
I would recommend uh, getting this filter, this IR cut filter. It definitely helps a lot. If you don't have the Canon variable ND with the drop-in, I highly recommend you don't buy it. It's not worth $400, not at all. And then for the clear drop-in behind, it's another 120 bucks. Do not buy it. 100% don't buy it unless I really don't see any reason to buy it. Go with the Breakthrough Photography one or go with the uh, Mikey one or the Kipper Tie one. They may be different prices, more expensive. I don't even know. I haven't researched them all. I know the Breakthrough Photography is the one that I'm, I believe their filters will work in this one. So they're out of stock right now. When they come back in, I may get one of those filters. I recommend staying away from the Canon one. It's trash. If you have it already, a solution is to buy this IR, ND, uh, IR cut filter, I'm sorry. I'll go ahead and also throw the uh, Tilta Mirage. This is the Tilta Mirage matte box with its own variable ND built in. As you'll see here, the, at least on my monitor, and I'm looking at the, the monitor up above here, it looks to me like the black looks black on my shirt. It doesn't look red and crazy like it did on the other one. So, I mean, take that for what it's worth, but this Tilta Mirage, the whole system, I want to say is around $300. It gives you a matte box, a variable ND, maybe $350. And there's all kind of add-ons you can do with this. This is my favorite. Uh, it gives me more range than the two to five and the five to nine or the six to nine. This kind of gives it all in one. I'm very happy with uh, the ND on this. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and, um, I had to stop down with using the free wells because I just was being lazy and I just used the two to five. But let's go ahead and I can control the Komodo from the app. Let's go ahead and open up our iris here to uh, 1.8. So it's a little little hot. Let's go ahead and just bring it down. You know what, let's go all the way. So this is full power on the ND there. And let me bring it back. This is the free will. I'm sorry, the, this is the Tilta, the Tilta Mirage. I'm, I'm using autofocus on the Komodo. It's, it's not a Sony, we know that, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's usable for stuff like this real quick. So this is almost full strength on this. Uh, let me, I, I don't even feel like I need the IR cut filter on this, but I'll go ahead and put it on. Then we'll go back and I'll just so you can see it again, how poor and we'll, we'll tie up and close out the video with the magenta shift, just so you can get one more final taste of it. Cause I'm never going to do it again. Just to show you, this is the Tilta Mirage. A matte box with its variable ND built in and I have the ice IRND cut filter on this I'll put a side-by-side -side of with and without for this uh, Tilta Mirage it might make a little bit of a difference probably a little tiny bit but like nothing like the uh, the Canon drop-in ND filter trash I've said it a lot but it's it's such trash like I don't even know where to begin, how bad it is. Unbelievably bad. And am I out of focus again? Yeah. So the other thing that's not the greatest is the autofocus on a red, but you don't buy a red for autofocus, right? You buy it for that R3D. Anyways, let's, uh, let's switch back to the Canon uh, VND and, and wrap this thing up. So back to this awful magenta shift. You can see what I'm talking about now that we've gone through them all. Um, Highly recommend you don't buy the Canon drop-in variable ND. Save that money. Uh, the, as far as accessories for the Komodo, you're gonna have to buy a bunch anyways. Don't waste your money on this. Just get the straight through adapter, get a speed booster. Don't waste your money on this thing. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. This is awful, absolute trash. Now, if, if it's all you got and you're stuck with it, I mean, if, if you already have it, Keep in mind, look, look at the difference. Like it's un, like, wow. Just holding this thing in front. So is this good content to do this? This is, is this making you happy? Anyways, I'm gonna stand behind this IR cut filter and end this video and say, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you're in the market for a Komodo and you're looking for accessories to get on it, don't waste your money on this thing unless you want your black shirts to look like this. Like this? No, you want them to look like this, black. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. I'll be making more Komodo content.
pretty soon. So see you then.